Hello everyone, welcome back in this new and exciting X Dragon 7 video. Today, our search continues for the best deck with the Bomber Evolution. Uh, this is the deck we'll be playing. It is a quite popular deck, as you probably noticed. Uh, classic Hoggies 2.9, I think it was. Uh, revisited to be played with Bomber Evolution. It doesn't have a building, it has Little Prince and Bomber, very quick cycle, double evolution. Haven't played it even once, I think. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't played it even once. I only played the previous variations, but this looks quite promising and I want to see if this actually works. Um, I will be jumping straight into the first game. Let's see if we can win games with this deck. We had two very good videos in the past two days. Uh, we played a Mega Knight Ebarb's Rage deck, which we won four games with, and an Only Skeletons deck, which we also won four games with. So very good videos, uh, very good decks at, at least. Um, here, the deck is Definitely not bad, don't get me wrong. It's me being bad with cycle decks, so I think we may be coming back to the X Dragon 7 losing streak on, losing streak on videos. But I mean, hopefully we can make it work somehow. Uh, he missed one piggy, I know. I don't know how he did it. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, I already struggle with the classic variation of this deck, which obviously runs with a building and Archer Queen or Little Prince. Here, with Bomber and Little Prince, I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to, like, actually win this. <laughs> I actually have no idea. But again, I will be trying it, I will be trying my best because I, I know this deck will, could work, could work, that's the better word. I will split Hogs, go Skeletons, go Bomber. Try to catch him off guard, try to pressure all in, not, that was probably not the play I, I, I feel like. Unless... Unless he wasted his log, I think it's over. Evil skeletons, guys. Evil fucking skeletons. The most broken evolution. Like, actually, at this point, I don't even think that... Like, you, you could argue against it. Okay, he has to fireball. Imagine if he missed the fireball. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if he did. Um, so yeah, with such a quick cycle, with, like, Bomber, Ice Spirit, Log... Um, Bomber, Ice Spirit, Log, and Skeletons. You can basically have Bomber Evolution in your hand at all times, and Skeleton Evolution as well. Like, you, you could see it for yourself. In the first first one minute, we already had both Evolution in our hand. So, I mean, this game is pretty over. I don't know if he can win or, like, get a comeback in one minute. He just only now played uh, his recruits, so he will be slowly trying to get to the Evolution, but I don't think there is enough time for him to do it. I wasted my Bomber Evolution, kinda, so... This may, this may allow him to break through, even though I don't think so. Yep. <laughs> the defense in this deck is unironically OP, even though it's funny how... Oh my god! Two Bomber Evolutions! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> He's not gonna do shit anyways, but still funny. Um... Holy shit! I thought so! I thought that the Bomber Evolution is not gonna take the King Tower there. Okay, it's two Bombers evolved, but I mean, it's not good because of its DPS. It's good because it's basically a Magic Archer for two Elixir, uh, which does deals even more damage than a Magic Archer. But I was not expecting them to get a free crown. And it happened because the bomb splashes on the King Tower twice. So it was basically like a 1000 DPS thanks to those two Bombers. Anyways, we, we got a free crown in the first game. I mean, it couldn't have went any better, I think. Uh, the only small detail, uh, which I'm not a fan of, he can chill, let me play pigs, just try to force out some answer in the other lane. Let's see if we can do something like this, I think that was solid. Log the Goblin Gang, like, I think this was a Perfect defense, or at least almost a perfect defense. Like, he dealt some damage, but he has to fireball, okay. And we have a pig with skeletons on the right side. Imagine if those skeletons were evolved, this would have been tower. But still, very, very solid start. Um, delivery plus Little Prince ability. I didn't think about it at first, uh, not gonna lie. I kind of forgot that you can pop the ability on a Little Prince, so I was kind of... Uh, getting scared there, uh, that I would have not been able to defend the Night Witch. I thought that I had to cycle two deliveries, but it was not the case. I mean, I just don't play the Little Prince nowhere near enough because I don't have it maxed out. It's only at level 12. 
which definitely doesn't make it easier. I will play Bomber here. I think it will splash on the tower. I mean, I don't know the placements yet. That was a very good Bomber, I think. Jesus Christ, that's such a broken evolution. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea who thought that that card was a good idea. Chew Elixir with only one cycle. Like, it didn't take the tower, but you can see at how much health that tower is sitting. Like, it's dead now after the peaks, but it's actually insane how good DPS that card can get. Like, I don't know. Like, some cards, like, sometimes you don't know for sure if a card will be broken or not. That's a bad evil skeletons. Yeah, I felt so. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for this. And then go for this. Nice, clean defense. Uh, I was saying, sometimes you may not see at first if a card is broken. The Phoenix, for example, when it was released in the beginning, people were much more worried about the Monk rather than about the um, the Phoenix. And only after that, people realized that the bigger threat was... That, look at the damage of the Evo Bomber on the other lane, by the way. Like, it's insane how much damage it can get. Um, so yeah, people were not realizing how strong the Phoenix would be. So, I mean, I don't really blame the devs in that case, because they just didn't know how broken of a card they were releasing. Uh, people were much worried about the Monk. Like, it's hard to see if a card will be strong before releasing it to the public. So sometimes, like, you can not, like, as I said, it can just, you know, pass through. A card gets released and it's much more broken than you expect. Obviously, princesses. I love getting princesses. That's so exciting, man. Unlocking a card you've, ha you've had for the past eight years. That's a topic for another video. <laughs> Power troops, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, uh, Phoenix, again, Phoenix was so broken, like, they had to nerf it like 10 times or something to make it just okay. Now it's not even bad, it's just not really used because it's not a Phoenix meta, but it's crazy how strong it was in the beginning, like, how many nerfs they had to give to that damn card to make it just okay. Um, but for example, the Bomber Evolution, that's a different thing, because you can see how strong it is. It's a true elixir card with only one cycle. How can it not be strong? How can you not think that it's better to nerf it before releasing it? Like, I actually don't know. Like, at that point, they must have... Like, they, they wanted to release a broken card. There is no other explanation, like, <laughs> ironically. Um, I will go for... Oh my god, really? That's the most random mini pack I've ever seen. I'm gonna go for pigs here. He can probably defend. I don't think that's gonna be too big of a threat. Shame that these skeletons didn't connect, but still, uh, not too bad. Um, yeah, it, it's hard. People are very uh, harsh on Supercell on how balanced the cards are when they release, but it's pretty difficult to get like, mm, strength of a card right when it gets released. Uh, like, it can either go in the wrong direction, like Ice Spirit, where it's just too weak, or Evil Knight, when it was released, just to give a quick example. But, yeah, it's hard, but there is stuff that it's so evident that it's gonna be broken, not even strong, just straight up broken. Like, <laughs> Bomber Evo, or whatever, like, it's incredible how strong they are and like how, how can they not realize it that's what i don't understand okay freeze that's quite bad i was not really expecting him to play freeze in that specific variation but i mean it works i'm gonna go for pigs like that I, i'm feeling creative i'm feeling creative i'm gonna go for bomber here i spirit try to catch this guy off guard uh try to just confuse him enough so that he doesn't know what to do and we to take the tower indeed. That's what you do with this deck basically, like, when you get both evolutions down at the same time, you're basically just trying to confuse your opponent enough that he doesn't even know what he's doing. That's how I see this deck, more or less. <laughs> is he gonna freeze that? Okay, he is, that's good. Okay, he was set for Elixir. I, I knew I wouldn't be able to defend the tower anyways. I'm uh, gonna go for this, this, go for Bomber here in the pocket. Try to splash on something. He fireballs. 
Okay, that's fine. We get some very nice damage with the pigs. Gonna play little prince. Mm, gonna go for skeletons ice spirit. Gonna go for EQ pigs. Can skeletons do anything there? Eh, not even needed. Hey, it's nice. Uh, we, I, I'm having, like, not gonna say having more fun than I expected because I have fun playing these kind of decks. It's more about me not really being able to play them well. I just get confused in the quick cycle. I struggle defending usually, specifically against very heavy decks. Uh, not having a building makes it very rough for me to defend, but I mean, for now it's working. I, I guess we haven't really played against um, very aggressive decks like Golem. We, we played against E-Golem, but I'm not really scared of playing against E-Golem with this deck. Having Bomber, Delivery, Log, Princess, uh, Little Prince ability, like there is just so much stuff that you can do to defend that I'm like not even really worried. Um, can I deliver on the Bowler? I, I guess I can. Um, I'm gonna go for Hogs in the other lane just to pressure. No way that Firecracker actually did turn around. That is insane. Yeah, I mean, that lo- And it even went in the other lane! I swear that card is incredibly... Like, I don't even know what to say. And it just avoids the- I'm gonna lose my tower here. It was very close. Uh, luckily, I cycled back to the log, but that's insane how much value that Firecracker got. I played pigs on the right lane. The Firecracker was all the way to the left, not even close or in range of the pigs. Like, the Firecracker sees everything. Every time you don't want it to. Whenever you actually want the Firecracker to see th something, the Firecracker completely ignores it and doesn't care at all. That's more or less the explanation of the Firecracker and the reason I hate it so much. Like, you cannot be like, I love that card. It's both playing it and playing against it that is so fucking stressful because it's so unreliable and just stupid. Also, the bowler got so much value there. It's not even funny. I'm gonna go for pig skeletons once again. I, I feel like I can catch my opponent off guard. Slightly, maybe, hopefully. Please, skeletons. God damn it! It's so unfortunate. I have to play skeletons here. I'm gonna go for delivery, bomber. I'm gonna go log. Yeah, pretty nice defense, but that matchup is not fun at all. Playing against a guy that has bowler is not something I'm enjoying at all, to be completely fair. I'm gonna go for little prince in the same lane. Uh, I'm gonna go for delivery here, just behind. I'm gonna go for bomber. Um, Okay, very bad NATO. I was kind of expecting him to play a NATO like that, so I, I basically tricked him into doing it. I'm gonna go for this log. I would love to kill that firecracker with the log. That's something I wanted. Skeletons connect. Does he have spells? NATO? Is he gonna NATO in time? Nope. <laughs> Skeletons evolution carry. If you want to play this deck, like, you can probably play it without the Bomber Evolution. It's good, don't get me wrong. The Bomber Evolution is incredibly strong because you have it in your hand at all times. Like, having a Bomber Evolve and not Evolve makes a huge difference. But, <laughs> but, the Skeleton's Evolution, which is much less reliable because you have it more rarely and sometimes it just gets no value whatsoever, whereas Bomber gets value all the time. So. Whenever Skeletons get value, you just win the game because of them. Like, th the few games we won thanks to the Evo Skeletons probably would have been very, very incredibly hard without the Evo Skeletons. Whereas Bomber was helping out throughout the games, but you can probably work around even without it. Like, I don't know, uh, I feel like Evo Skeletons are not gonna say underrated anymore, because they are played quite a lot in many decks, not like months ago when they were first released. But still, very good deck, I recommend it, it's quite fun, you've probably seen it on the other YouTube videos. Like, I'm pretty certain you've seen it, like, it's been going around for a few days already. Uh, most people already showed it, but I wanted mostly to play it, to try it, to see how it works. And I actually won four games with it, so that's exciting. And we reached Master 3, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching, if you have other decks with Bomber, make sure to let me know. 
for now, I wish you a great day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.